See, I got my two bottom teethies. Yeah. <gasps> See, I'm sitting up, George. <laughs> I'm loving your baby feet. Sleeping all night. Yeah, she started the screaming thing. She's screaming and talking all the time. And drooling. Hey guys, it's Harry Styles, Heather, and Cameron here. She is eight months old now. And as you were just seeing, so her eight month pictures, so I was like, she was just being so cute and being good sitting up there. She is such a good baby. She's so awesome. She has her two bottom teeth now. They came in like at the same time, I felt like. And so she had a little rough time with them teethies. And had a couple nights where she was bent, has been up, and I'm like, I know it's got to be her teeth. And I used the, I think it's called Cupabia oil, the essential oils. I used it, I put it on her jawline and on her gums a little bit. And really, that's all I've been doing for her teething. I usually would do like a little bit of orange gel or the tablets, but I haven't really done those much. But she hasn't been too fussy with them, just a little bit. She's doing a, a lot of teething toys and like cold ones. She loves anything really cold. And even sometimes her baby food. Sorry, the TV is like super loud. So, yeah, she's been doing great. She's doing really good. She's on a pretty good schedule. She's, as you can see, she sits up really good. But she gets a little excited sometimes. So I still put her bobby pillow around her because she will literally just get like so excited like jumping around and then like lean back and then and just fall back to do that just in case she gets too excited and falls back but she's starting to get a little bit more control and sitting up better and sometimes i'll just let her sit up by herself and then and she's fine i still put this there just in case but the girls they get all close up in front of her like to her face sometimes and sometimes just like too much and she'll like fall back but they just get like all over her they love her so much and she is really really now that she's a month old she is definitely knows like what's going on and what we're doing when the girls are here I feel like when we drop the girls off at school she like starts missing them she'll start crying and she'll like look be looking for them and like right now I feel like she'll just be kind of like if it, it gets quiet and she's like okay where are my sisters she like knows when it is loud or when it's quiet like where's her sister's at and when I go like if I walk out of the room she'll start crying like don't leave me and she's it's getting to where she wants to be held a lot and then all of these toys like this one right here that she's wanting like I try to be really careful because she can get some of the small things if you want them but like some of these if I'm watching her closely I'll let her hold on to it but she just grabs everything like, if I'm sitting at the table holding her and she starts grabbing stuff and, like, pulling off the table, I'm like, no. Nah. She'll grab something before I know it and knock it over or drop it. So, let's see. Her schedule, she is, she gets up around 8 or 9, 10 ish. Just kind of depends what we got going on. Like, this morning, I had to get her up to take Claire Bear to school and had to wake her up. She was sleeping so good. I was like, I don't want to wake her up. But I had to wake her up. So we can go before she's late, and then so she eats her amps all the morning. She's I think her schedule's pretty much the same as last time. Um, she's really doing good with her baby food now. She'll eat a thing of baby food, but she's not much on the rice cereal. With both the other girls, I'd put a little bit of rice cereal in with her baby food, but she like is so funny. The textures to her, if it's cold or hot, or if it has the rice cereal in it, or if it's some baby food that I've made that isn't really smooth and grinded up and it still has like some texture to it. Like she doesn't like the texture and she doesn't mind like if it's warm or cold really. Um, I feel like the coldness, if we do it, it feels hey. good on her teeth. And let's see. So she'll have that about lunchtime. Um, like now she hasn't taken a nap yet and it's lunch. It's not quite lunchtime, it's 11.30. She's probably about ready to take a nap shortly here at lunchtime. And then she'll nap until, she'll usually take one long nap a day. Yeah. Um, and then like a couple of short naps in the afternoon. But usually it depends, sometimes she'll only sound like one, two, or three. 
just depends like what we have going on in during the day but she'll take like a long stretch like an hour or two nap then and it's just some shorter naps later the bottle usually though after her nap and then she'll have some baby food like for dinner and then we'll have like bath time or just hang out as a family in the afternoon and then she has her eight ounce bottle right before bed and sometimes bedtime she will her bottle will stay up a little bit and sometimes she'll be so tired that she won't even finish the bottle she's like so sleepy ready to go to sleep so it just depends and sometimes she's not quite sleepy enough yet like if she had a later nap and then she'll eat it and stay up a little bit and then I want to be rocked to sleep normally I can just feed her and as soon as she's done I can lay her down and she's like out for the night thankfully so that's her schedule she loves sitting up here like this she loves her extra saucer she still sits in the bumbo sometimes um especially like i just got a shower earlier today and she sat in the bumbo i was taking my shower or she'll sit in the bumbo while i'm like doing my makeup or my hair she'll sit in her high chair she loves loves absolutely loves all of the snacks the little puffs sugar bites and the teething like the um the rice uh, cakes or whatever you call them. Though she loves all the snacks. So normally when I when we're doing baby food, I'll sit her up with. I'll put her some snacks while I'm getting her baby food ready. Then I'll feed her some baby food, and then I give her more snacks. Or if she's fussy, I can sit her with some snacks. Like she's just happy when she has her snacks. She loves feeding herself. Absolutely. I don't remember that with the girls as much, but she would rather feed herself. Then we feed her the baby food. Like I've cut up some bananas in her feed them herself. And she just she's really good at eating like and feeding herself. Like I think she's just gonna be independent and wanna do that once she gets old enough to like eat like some macaroni and cheese by herself, which I've tempted to try that. I've given her some oatmeal. She really likes oatmeal when I fix it with me or grits. Just more like I feel like she's almost skipping to table food. Not quite yet, but she I think she's gonna be more happy when she can feed herself like that because she just loves feeding herself those snacks like she's so happy when she does it. Gentle Baby Essential Oil, we put that on every night and sleep so good and I feel like when I miss it she doesn't do as good. I don't know if it's because of that or her teeth right now but it is just like I really think that that just the Gentle Baby Oil like really really helps like so much. It's crazy. Stay tuned because I'm gonna do I'm gonna be doing some essential videos soon so I can tell you more about them and some things I'm gonna make some chapstick and some eyelash uh, serum that makes your eyelashes grow in. Like I really can tell on this side I had a shorter piece and it's already growing back in like a lot longer. So it's crazy how much it helps. But yeah, I think let's see. I don't know if I put much in my phone because I have been lazy with keeping up stuff, but this is good. Oh yeah, so her clay size, she's in the three to six months of. She's eight months. She's still in the three to six months clothes. I keep trying the six months clothes, like thinking she's gonna grow into them. I think she's almost there, but not quite yet. Like this is still three months, I think. Yeah. It's crazy. She's just staying so little and I don't know if she's gonna like hit. I don't know if she's like gonna hit a growth spurt and like skip over like the six month or 12 month stuff but who you knows she might just stay little and she's still in the two diapers two sizes we have one more month I'm like make it one more month one more month until she is she'll be staying with my grandma over the summer and then she'll start the preschool when they get back and I was gonna let her go ahead and start around this time like through the springtime after Christmas but then I was like no, everybody was like getting sick and she'd be like the little one in there. So I was like, we'll just wait until after summer to start her at the preschool. So we've still been taking her like to the salon and stuff, but Joel's getting busier at the chiropractor office. And so it's like, it's just crazy. This month is just going to be crazy trying to work around our schedule. But at the same time, like this is my last little time with my last little baby here to stay at home with her. So I'm trying my hardest to work around my schedule so I can just like be at home with her during the week while they're at preschool in the mornings so yeah hey guys thanks so much for watching subscribe comment like check out our daily vlogs and we'll talk to you soon bye Can you say bye camry camry reese reese a cup reese a cup reese a reese camry hey hey <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs>